Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. I mean, really good recipes. We have breakfast, we have lunch, and we have dessert. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will put my recipe website at the top. That is where you will find all of today's recipes and all of the recipes I've created, as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is the time to have them done so you can reach your goals in 2024 and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. I'm so excited for these recipes, so let's jump in. For my breakfast this week, I am making apple cinnamon baked oatmeal with protein. I'm 100% adding protein to this and I cannot wait. I've been craving baked oatmeal and this brings all those kind of winter holiday vibes. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need unsweetened applesauce, rolled oats. I would not use quick cook or steel cut. Use rolled oats. That's what's recommended for this recipe. Baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla extract, milk of your choice. I'm using the vanilla carb master milk. That way I get again in some added protein. You'll need some ground flaxseed or flaxseed meal. Sugar-free syrup of your choice. I'm using Lakanto cinnamon maple because the cinnamon will pair perfectly with this baked oatmeal. Lakanto is my all-time favorite sugar-free syrup. There's no caramel coloring, which is a carcinogen, which is something I like to avoid. So I love Lakanto for that. I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto. I'll link it down below for you. We will need some salt, apples. Again, I'm adding in protein. So I'm going to put in two packs of my all-time favorite protein powder. This is the Clean Simple Eats cinnamon roll. Again, how perfect is that to go with this baked apple oatmeal? There's 20 grams of protein per pack. Each pack is one scoop. You can buy them by the pack, by the bag. You can even buy a protein variety pack, which gives you 10 of these little packages in 10 different flavors. So you can try out Clean Simple Eats. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below with the 10% discount. Definitely check them out. You guys know it's my favorite favorite protein powder. And then I'm going to add in raisins. Raisins are optional. So I went ahead and preheated my oven to 375 degrees and now we're going to mix together the baked oatmeal. Starting with our two cups of rolled oats. I'm going to add in my two packets of protein powder. Cinnamon and nutmeg, go ahead and add in as much or as little as you would like. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of each. One teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pinch of salt. Two cups milk of your choice. Again, I'm using the Carb Master Vanilla. Quarter cup Lakanto cinnamon maple syrup. Half of a cup unsweetened applesauce and then one tablespoon of flax meal, and then we're going to stir to combine. Now we're going to fold in our raisins and about three quarters of our diced apples. And then again, just fold those into the mixture. I also wanted to let you know that I ended up only using two of the apples. The recipe called for about a cup of diced apples, so I ended up only needing two of my medium-sized apples. So I went ahead and sprayed my baking dish with some non-stick cooking spray. You want about an eight by eight baking dish. We're going to add in the baked oatmeal mixture, and then we're going to top it with the remaining about a quarter of our diced apples. I'm also going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of cinnamon right on top. This is going into a 375 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until it's cooked through. So my baked oatmeal is out of the oven, you guys. This looks amazing. It smells so good. It smells like an apple cinnamon roll, like an apple fritter. It smells so good. I cannot wait to have this for breakfast all week long. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch today, I'm going to make air fried teriyaki chicken and asparagus as well as 
rice. We're gonna put together kind of a meal prep little bento box. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need fresh or ground ginger, any vinegar of your choice, maple syrup. This time I'm using the regular Lakanto maple. Uh, don't forget I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto site wide. It is in the description box. You'll also need soy sauce, minced garlic. I have one cup of dry rice cooking here in my dash rice cooker. Obsessed with this thing. I love it. You guys know this is my favorite way to cook rice, barley, quinoa, mullet. I mean, really anything. It's amazing. I bought mine off of Amazon. I'll link it as well for you. You'll need about a pound of chicken breast, chicken tenders. I'm doing asparagus, green onion, sesame seeds, and cornstarch. So today to make my lunch meal prep, I'm going to use my brand new air fryer. This is from the brand Medea, and it is a 10 in one, 11 quart, two zone air fryer oven. You can simultaneously prepare two fully independent meals or a meal inside dish. The top portion has a six quart air fryer basket while the bottom portion is a five quart traditional toaster oven. You can use the sink feature, finish feature which automatically aligns the cooking times of both zones so all your food is finished at the exact same time. I love that feature. I love that this is an air fryer. You can also grill, dehydrate, bake, roast, broil, reheat, toast, and even keep things warm. There's 50 different pre-programmed smart recipes making mealtime easier. It's a true two-in-one that allows you to cook two dishes, one in the air fryer and the other in the oven cavity all at the same time. So I'm going to actually cook my chicken for today's meal prep in the air fryer. Again, you can air fry, grill, dehydrate, bake, roast, broil, reheat, toast, bagel and keep warm. Again, sink it so that they get done at the same time. The air fryer oven combo also has Wi-Fi connectivity where you can download the smart home app and you can program all of your cooking, monitor your cooking, get alerts when your meal is ready and enjoy all those recipes directly from your phone. So I'm going to utilize the bottom portion of the air fryer oven combo to grill my asparagus. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the grill function for my asparagus. I'm going to place it on the grill pan, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to spray it, which is a tiny bit of nonstick cooking spray, just to get it nice and crispy. I'll go ahead and insert the grill pan into the bottom part of the air fryer, start grilling, and within about 20 minutes, you have perfectly cooked asparagus. I love that it has the 360 rapid air circulation, so air is constantly moving, which delivers really fast and even cooking in both the top and bottom portion. It's an extra large capacity, which I also very much appreciate. All right, so the chicken is done. Wow, look how amazing that looks. It is crispy so crispy and cooked all the way through. You can see we have about two minutes left on the asparagus. All right, our asparagus is done. Oh my goodness, this looks good. So I did again cook my asparagus on the grill front function, did my chicken on the air fry function. This looks incredible. Now that everything is out of the air fryer, we're ready to put together our meal prep. So I have my little glass storage containers here. The recipe makes four servings. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pieces of chicken. So we're going to add three pieces per meal prep container. We're going to add half of a cup of rice per container. And then our asparagus, again, it's our veggie, so it doesn't matter how much we add. I'm just going to divide it all out evenly among the four meal preps. Teriyaki sauce looks so good. I'm going to drizzle a quarter of my teriyaki sauce over my asparagus, my chicken, and my rice. I'm going to top my meal prep with some fresh green onions and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. So here is my lunch prep for the week. This is the perfect lunch. We have protein, veggies, a carb, and then we have some delicious sauce. Everything again is cooked. The Maidea air fryer combo. We grilled the asparagus, air fried the chicken. This looks incredible. Let me put together the other three days of meal prep. So 
So here is my completed lunch meal prep. I have four days worth and I am so excited for this lunch. It was so easy frying, air frying the chicken and then grilling the asparagus all in one. I literally love my air fryer. I love it. I can't wait to use it again. And it's so affordable for the quality. So I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you for my lunch prep. And I will link the air fryer down below with all of the discount information. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making baked eggnog donuts. I'm so excited for these. I mean, who doesn't love a donut and eggnog? the perfect combination. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. So first you're going to need flat flour. I'm going to use my fiber gourmet flour. You guys know how much I love this. It's 55% less calories and points than regular flour. It has protein, it has fiber, and it cooks up just like regular flour. So you can actually save quite a bit of points and calories and get the same effect and just a really good healthier option for fiber. Anything for flour, anything that has protein and fiber in it is a definite win for sure. So I buy my fiber gourmet flour off of Nutrition, same place I buy my fiber gourmet pasta, my crackers, all the things I love from the brand. I will link Nutrition down below with 10% off. And then you'll need powdered sugar. This is Lakanto powdered. And then I have Lakanto granulated. Again, that discount is in the description as well. You'll need eggnog. I'm going to use my plant-based eggnog. Again, this one is nice because it only has 45 calories per serving and it tastes just like regular eggnog. Maybe not as spicy, you know, the nutmeg cinnamon. So I just add that in to make it taste a little bit more like eggnog, but a much healthier option. I'm going to go ahead and use real butter. You can use light butter. One egg, vanilla extract, nutmeg, baking powder, and some salt. So to get started on our donuts, I'm adding one cup of my fiber gourmet all-purpose flour, one third of a cup of my Lakanto granulated, and one teaspoon of baking powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of salt, and then go ahead and mix all of your dry ingredients together. Then we're adding one half of a cup of eggnog, vanilla extract, one egg, and two tablespoons of melted butter. Now, like I said, my eggnog isn't as eggnoggy, as spiced as I would like, so I'm actually going to add a little bit more nutmeg, and I'm also going to pop in some cinnamon and some allspice. And then we're going to mix the donut batter together until fully mixed. I'm going to transfer my donut mixture to this quart-sized baggie, and then we'll cut a hole in the corner so that we can pipe out the donut mixture into the donut pan. So I'm going to pipe the donut mixture. I cut a hole in the bag in the corner around in the donut pan, and our goal is to get six donuts. And then I'm just going to take my pan and just kind of tap it to get the donuts nice and flat. I'm going to pop these into my 400 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. And while they're in the oven, let's make a glaze. So to make the glaze, I added one cup of Lakanto powdered. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a little bit of nutmeg, and then I'm going to add the eggnog until I have the right glaze consistency. So I'm going to start with about a tablespoon and then stir. I always do it this way. That way I'm not adding too much liquid. You can always add more, but you can't take it back out. So we want a thicker glaze-like consistency. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the eggnog. So this consistency looks perfect for the glaze. I ended up using about two tablespoons of the eggnog. So I'm going to set this aside until our donuts come out of the oven and are cool. So my donuts look more like muffins, but that's fine. It's totally fine. I definitely overfilled them. I was thinking that when I was piping in the mix, you probably could actually get maybe eight or even nine donuts, but I'm not too worried about it. They're still gonna taste amazing. I'm going to allow them to cool a little bit. I was going to show you that the bottom of them definitely still looks like a donut. So I may flip them over and glaze them or I may just glaze them as is, but let's let these cool and then we will add in the glaze. The night before Christmas, I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. So I went ahead and glazed the donuts. You can see we had some issues pulling a couple of them out. So I would definitely not overfill your donut pan, but these still look absolutely 
amazing. I mean, eggnog boat donuts, yes please. So let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget they are all on my recipe website, which is linked at the top of the description box. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.